Molar, Wikipedia article audio. The molars or molar teeth are large, flat teeth at the back of the mouth. They are more developed in mammals. They are used primarily to grind food during chewing. The name molar derives from Latin, molaris dens, meaning millstone tooth, from mola, millstone, and dens, tooth. Molars show a great deal of diversity in size and shape across mammal groups. Human Anatomy Mammal Evolution Morphology Tribosphenic Quadrate Bunodont Hypsodont Brachydont Zalamdodont Dalamdodont Lophodont Selenodont Secodont Notes In humans, the molar teeth have either four or five cusps. Adult humans have twelve molars, in four groups of three at the back of the mouth. The third, rearmost molar in each group is called a wisdom tooth. It is the last tooth to appear, breaking through the front of the gum at about the age of 20, although this varies from individual to individual. Ethnicity can also affect the age at which this occurs, with statistical variations between groups. In some cases, it may not even erupt at all. The human mouth contains upper and lower molars. They are maxillary first molar, maxillary second molar, maxillary third molar, mandibular first molar, mandibular second molar, and mandibular third molar. In mammals, the crown of the molars and premolars are folded into a wide range of complex shapes. The basic elements of the crown are the more or less conical projections called cusps and the valleys that separate them. The cusps contain both dentine and enamel, whereas minor projections on the crown, called crenulations, are the result of different enamel thickness. Cusps are occasionally joined to form ridges and expanded to form crests. Singula are often incomplete ridges that pass around the base of the crown. These mammalian multicusp cheek teeth probably evolved from single cusp teeth in reptilians, although the diversity of therapsid molar patterns and the complexity in the molars of the earliest mammals makes it impossible to determine how this happened. According to the widely accepted differentiation theory, Additional cusps have arisen by budding or outgrowth from the crown, while the rivaling concrescence theory instead proposes that complex teeth evolved by the clustering of originally separate conical teeth. It is generally agreed that Therian mammals evolved from an ancestor with tribosphenic cheek teeth, with three main cusps arranged in a triangle. Each major cusp on an upper molar is called a cone and is identified by a prefix dependent on its relative location on the tooth, proto, para, meta, hypo, and ento. Suffixes are added to these names, id is added to cusps on a lower molar, ule to a minor cusp. A shelf-like ridge on the lower part of the crown is called a cingulum, the same feature on the lower molar a cingulid and a minor cusp on these, for example, a singular cuspule or conulid. The design that is considered one of the most important characteristics of mammals is a three-cusped shape called a tribosphenic molar. This molar design has two important features, the trigonid, or shearing end, and the talonid, or crushing heel. In modern tribosphenic molars, the trigonid is towards the front of the jaw and the talonid towards the rear. The tribosphenic tooth is found in insectivores and young platypuses. Upper molars look like three-pointed mountain ranges, lowers look like two peaks and a third off to the side. 
The tribosphenic design appears primitively in all groups of mammals. Some paleontologists believe that it developed independently in monotremes, rather than being inherited from an ancestor that they share with marsupials and placentals, but this idea has critics and the debate is still going on. For example, the dentition of the early Cretaceous monotreme steropodon is similar to those of Paramus and Dryolestoids which suggests that monotremes are related to some pre-tribosphenic therian mammals, but, on the other hand, the status of neither of these two groups is well established. Some Jurassic mammals, such as Schuotherium and Pseudotribos, have reversed tribosphenic molars, in which the talonid is towards the front. This variant is regarded as an example of convergent evolution. From the primitive tribosphenic tooth, molars have diversified into several unique morphologies. In many groups, a fourth cusp, the hypocone, subsequently evolved. Quadrate molars have an additional fourth cusp on the lingual side called the hypocone, located posterior to the protocone. Quadrate molars appeared early in mammal evolution and are present in many species, including hedgehogs, raccoons, and many primates, including humans. There may be a fifth cusp. In many mammals, additional smaller cusps called canals appear between the larger cusps. They are named after their locations, e.g., a paraconule is located between a paracone and a metacone. A hypoconulate is located between a hypoconid and an enticonid. In bunodont molars, the cusps are low and rounded hills rather than sharp peaks. They are most common among omnivores such as pigs, bears and humans. Bunodont molars are effective crushing devices and often basically quadrate in shape. Hypsodont dentition is characterized by high crown teeth and enamel that extends far past the gum line, which provides extra material for wear and tear. Some examples of animals with hypsodont dentition are cows and horses, all animals that feed on gritty, fibrous material. Hypsodont molars can continue to grow throughout life, for example in some species of Arvicolini. Hypsodont molars lack both crown and neck. The occlusal surface is rough and mostly flat, adapted for crushing and grinding plant material. The body is covered with cementum both above and below the gingival line, below which is a layer of enamel covering the entire length of the body. The cementum and the enamel invaginate into the thick layer of dentin. The opposite condition to hypsodont is called brachydont or brachyodont. It is a type of dentition characterized by low crown teeth. Human teeth are brachydont. A brachydont tooth has a crown above the gingival line and a neck just below it, and at least one root. A cap of enamel covers the crown and extends down to the neck. Cementum is only found below the gingival line. The occlusal surfaces tend to be pointed, well suited for holding prey and tearing and shredding. Zalamdodont molars have three cusps, one larger on the lingual side and two smaller on the labial side, joined by two crests that form a V or lambda shape. The larger inner cusp might be homologous with the paracone in a tribosphenic molar, but can also be fused with the metacone. The protocone is typically missing. The two smaller labial cusps are located on an expanded shelf called the stylar shelf. Zalamdodont molars are found in for example golden moles and solenodons. Like Zalamdodont molars, Delamdodont molars have a distinct ectolophe but shaped like two lambdas or a W. On the lingual side, at the bottom of the W, are the metacone and paracone, and the stylar shelf is on the labial side. 
a protocone is present lingual to the ectoloaf. Delamdodont molars are present in shrews, moles, and some insectivorous bats. Lophodont teeth are easily identified by the differentiating patterns of ridges or lofts of enamel interconnecting the cusps on the crowns. Present in most herbivores, these patterns of lofts can be a simple ring-like edge, as in mole rats, or a complex arrangement of series of ridges and cross ridges, as those in odd-toed ungulates, such as horses. Lophodont molars have hard and elongated enamel ridges called lofts oriented either along or perpendicular to the dental row. Lophodont molars are common in herbivores that grind their food thoroughly. Examples include tapers, manatees, and many rodents. When two lofts form transverse, often ring-shaped, ridges on a tooth, the arrangement is called bilophodont. This pattern is common in primates, but can also be found in lagomorphs and some rodents. Extreme forms of lophodonty in elephants and some rodents is known as loxodonty. The African elephant belongs to a genus called loxodonta because of this feature. In selenodont molars, the major cusp is elongated into crescent shape ridge. Examples include most even toed ungulates, such as cows and deer. Many carnivorous mammals have enlarged and blade like teeth, especially adapted for slicing and chopping, called carnosciales. A general term for such blade like teeth is secodont or plagial lacoid. <laughs>